And welcome back. Yes, the answer to a home viewer's question about uh, the idea of carrying a torch from Athens to the place of the current Olympic Games. You're not going to believe this. I didn't know. It happened in 1936. It was Adolf Hitler. Yes, it was, for the 1936 Berlin Games. Back to the scoring in just a sec, but as you can see, Cliff on 50, Vivian on 35, Ian on 35. Going back to that question on lyrics and Lame for you, Ian, uh, you were, yeah, you said lyrics, and our answer we had here was Lame. We've checked during the break with the authorities that are around, and they assure us that lyrics did at one stage have metallic threads in the cloth. They are now made synthetic, but they did used to have metallic threads, so we're going to credit you $10. That is $5 that we took off you, plus the $5 for getting an answer right. That changes the score. Just a little. Cliff 50, Vivian 35, Ian 45, back to the scoring. The name of the second astronaut to step on the moon was Cliff? Buzz Aldrin. It was. What compass direction is part of the alternative name for the star Polaris? Ian. East. North, the North Star. A machine for carrying out hemodialysis. Services, which organ? Ian. The kidneys. It does. Your answer was quicker than my question. What extinct volcano is near Waikiki Beach, Honolulu? Ian. Maui. Diamond Head. What name, starting with B, has been shared by a German battleship and a German statesman? Cliff. Bismarck. It was. Who am I? Second chance now at the Fame Game Board. I was born in Auckland, 1937, and educated at Auckland Grammar School. My father was the Labour MP for Auckland Central for 15 years, and my mother was the daughter of a veteran Labour MP, the Honourable W.T. Anderton. Although I had only entered Parliament in 1969, I became... Ian? Jim Anderson. Continuing for Vivian and Cliff, I became the Minister of Broadcasting in 1972. Later, whilst in opposition, I wrote a booklet called There Must Be a Better Way. Vivian? Roger Douglas. Roger Douglas is right. Good anticipation, Vivian. Shot of the Fame Game Board. Who would you like? Um, Maureen Kelly, please. Maureen Kelly has... Vivian, you've hooked yourself a telescopic surf fishing rod with reel and nylon line. A terrific catch valued at $300 from Alan G. Mitchell Sports Limited. There you go. Thank you. Now, I've been told there, I've been told there are a lot of trout in the, the Hutt River, Vivian. Um, I don't know, but my husband is very, very keen on fishing, so he'll be thrilled to be. <laughs> go for it. Look at the scoring. Cliff 60 out of the state with a $20 lead on Ian 40, Vivian 35. From where in France did the greatest evacuation in military history? Ian? Dunkirk. Take place in 1940. Dunkirk's right. What branch of medicine of 10 letters treats mental disorders? Vivian? Psychology. 10 letters is psychiatry. In what country, in what country was Leon Trotsky assassinated? Cliff? Mexico. Yes. What name, starting with C, is given to a dance composer? Cliff. Choreographer. You are right. Cliff, the gift shop bill has gone. You have $25 on the end of the stage, $70 to spend. Yeah, I know how much you need, but do you want this? Cliff, these moody seascape prints can do wonders for the decor of a room. They are limited edition serigraphs by Wellington artist Laurie Leach. They're beautifully framed in brass. They're normally valued at $1,288, but tonight take them home and pop them on your walls, Cliff, for just $16 from Pictures and Frames and Sale of the Century. Oh. Mm. I'll take them home. <laughs> Grace, any wall there, Cliff? They look great. They Lovely certainly frames. would. That'd look nice in my living room. Mm, mine too. <laughs> yeah, yours for sixteen dollars fifth. They're beautiful and they're lovely. They're most relaxing, but I must pass. Fifteen dollars. Oh. Plus a hundred dollars cash. No thanks. Plus two hundred dollars, Cliff. No. Five hundred dollars cash. I'll Cliff? pass, please. Oh, uh, Cliff, I'll give you a thousand dollars cash plus the paintings for fifteen dollars. <laughs> <laughs> You got it, Cliff. Scores still lead you out in front by 10. So, in which branch of fiction is Arthur C. Clarke famous? Cliff. Science fiction. Yes, getting the money back straight away. Which famous cricketing father captained the New Zealand team to England in 1949? Cliff. Walter Hadley. You're right again. 10 out of the 15 you've got that. What is the South African term for racial segregation? Cliff. Apartheid. Apartheid is right. Got all the money back, just like that. Last chance of the Fame Game Board and the dollar values are there. What is my name? 
I am a building in the Western Hemisphere. My construction, beginning in 1930, was officially opened 13 months later. Costing at that time just over $40 million, I house about 10,000 tenants and receive about 25,000... Ian? The Empire State Building. The Empire State Building. Great anticipation. Well done, Ian. Your chance at the board. The dollar values at this stage could put you right at the top with Cliff. It's a toughie. Julie Harris, please. Julie Harris, spin around. <laughs> <laughs> that ties it up. 70 each. Well done, Ian. Vivian on 30. Jude, where was the rest of the money? Well, if you're still interested, the $10 was with Carly Uinatana and Alf had the 15. There you go. We'll be back in just a moment to see if Cliff can hang on to his lead or what can happen in Fast Money. Yes. Well. And welcome back. This is the Fast Money Round. We'll get into that in just a moment with the scores. Cliff on 70, Vivian on 30, Ian on 70. Just a note to you, Vivian, about that last round of questions. Uh, you wanted, we wanted the 10-letter branch of medicine that treats mental diseases. You told me psychology, which is a study, not a treatment. Not because it didn't have 10 letters. That was the reason we didn't give it to you. Right. On with the scoring in the Fast Money Round. 60 seconds on the clock with Cliff needing 110 and a win, or just $10, and a win, I think you've passed that, for the lot, Cliff. Ian, I think it's on your shoulders to stop him doing that. 60 seconds on the clock, and your time starts now. What nationality is Pope John Paul II? Cliff. Polish. Yes, which citrus fruit gives Cointreau its distinctive flavor? It is Vivian. Orange. Yes. From which European language did the Afrikaan language develop? Ian? Dutch. It did. Which French queen was executed on October the 16th? Cliff? Marie Antoinette. You're right. What kind of book does a lexicographer compile? Cliff? Dictionaries. Yes. Patric patricide is the crime of killing one's... Cliff? Father. Yes. What name is given to Egyptian picture symbols? Ian? Hieroglyphics. Yes. Of which country is Irianjara a province? Cliff? It is part of Indonesia. Yes. In the Bible, who killed his brother Abel? Cliff? Cain. Yes. What energy product provides... Vivian? Stop the clock. Vivian, you buzzed in. You're committed to an answer. We had to deduct five dollars off your score. Puts you on to thirty. Cliff, one hundred. Ian, eighty. With twenty-five seconds left on the clock, restart the clock now. In which country was Eva Peron born? Ian, Argentina. Yes. And which? What, what is shed when it? Stop the clock. I'll get this question out in a moment. I'll pre-read it. We have nineteen seconds on the clock. Restart it now. What is shed when a reptile molts? Cliff. It's skin. Yes. How many King James of Great Britain were there? Ian. Seven. Two. The builder of the Contiki raft was Thor. Vivian. Higher down. Yes. What do we call a monastery governed by a prior? Cliff. A priory. Yes. HMS Pinafore was written by Gilbert and Cliff. Sullivan. Yes. The flesh of which animal is usually termed venison? No chance. The last one One hundred and fifteen dollars. One hundred and fifteen. Cliff, you have done it. That's what we wanted. One hundred and fifteen dollars. One hundred and ten. Wonderful. Back with you in just a minute, Cliff. Don't go away. Vivian and Ian, great games. Jude, what have you got? Oh, I feel that excitement. I can't take it. Ian. Now, you've got that jack to take home and pop in your wardrobe. In fact, price is value of two hundred dollars. Thanks for coming along. Vivian, now you please your husband there with fishing gear, three hundred dollars in fact. Thanks for coming along. Thank for the few Vivian and Ian, I hope you enjoyed it. He's a tough nut to crack. Had a great time, thank you very much. Excellent. 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 Grant, what have you got for them? Well, you'll both go home with our electronic sale of the century board game from Lincoln Play Corp and our money clip in solid gold from Michael Hill Jeweler. Yes! We've done it. Yes. Three and a half weeks into the show, you have not, well, we'll worry about that in a minute. $11,187 is what you've won playing for the last six months. $11,000. Plus, you get all the money in the bank. You want to go shopping? Let's go. Let's go. You've done it. You've got the whole lot. First up was this. Here's total listening pleasure, complete with digital tuner, twin cassette deck, graphic equaliser, compact disc player and remote control, plus a $200 music voucher worth $2,195 from Toshiba and Sale of the Century. There it is. The stereo system is all yours from Toshiba. 
Beautiful. So is this. Pack your suntan lotion for this eight-day free holiday for two in Fiji. Enjoy six nights at superb Plantation Island with $1,000 to spend, value $4,300 from Plantation Island Resort and Pacific and sale of a century. You're on your way. Bulabinaka. You are on your way for a trip. Come back, the lawns yeah. would have grown, right? Yes, true. This is yours too. Well, Cliff, unlike you, this hard-working mini tractor actually loves garden chores. It's the easy way to a smooth lawn with a mowing deck that floats over sloping ground and it vacuums grass and leaves into these handy bins. Normally $7,000, tonight it's yours from Youngman Richardson and Sale of the Century. Ooh, there you are. Yes, yes. I have no trouble getting the youngsters to do the lawns now. That's yours. So is this. A celebration of comfort and elegance, this Italian-styled leather lounge suite has a three-seater, two-seater, and a single chair. The look and feel of $10,000 worth of luxury. From E.J. Philp and Sale of the Century. <laughs> oh, there you go. Lounge suite, it's all yours. Comfort, luxury, I love it. <laughs> and you love the piano. Yes. You can learn to play with this magnificent musical work of art. This stunning grand piano has a heritage of a century of Japanese craftsmanship in polished mahogany with matching bench. It's worth $16,000 from Yamaha and Sale of the Century. Thank you, Terry. Marvellous, thank you. That's yours. You've done it. And so is this presenting the wagon that's a dream to drive the mitsubishi magna glx with a big hearted 2.6 liter astron engine and a luxurious interior it's the ideal combination of wagon and luxury car the mitsubishi magna glx automatic is on the road at thirty thousand three hundred and twenty nine dollars from your mitsubishi motors dealer and here's a perfect compliment for your new car a magnificent gold and diamond keyring from michael hill jeweler You've done it. You've done it. There's your key ring. I've given it back enough times. I think I'll... Can I have it? You can have it now. Thank you. You can have the car. You can have the lounge suite. You can have the mower. You can have everything there. Total prize value, $83,011. Yes. No choices. No decisions. Thank you very much. Done a lot. Thank you. $83,011. Cliff will come back. No, he won't be back tomorrow. He'll be giving people the best wishes tomorrow with three new contestants. Seven o'clock on two tomorrow. Bye-bye. See you then. Goodbye, Clyde Cullen. Bye-bye.